A lot of you guys were looking at my last dumpling post and saying, I found those dumplings at Costco. You can't cook. Well, guess what? I'm here today to show you that I can't cook dumplings. On my own, from scratch, and I'll be fucking delicious. So right off the bat, we're going to start with cutting up cabbage just like we cut off fingernails off of little children. We're going to make a whole big mess and dump it right in the bowl. Get it right in there. Get it in the bowl. Next we got coriander. Now coriander is one of my favorite things to use in any dish, and you got to line it up just perfectly so you look like you know what you're doing. Now we go dump that shit in the bowl so we can get off to what I'm absolutely a slut for. Garlic. And we're going to chop that up too and drop it in the bowl. Fun life hack! Are you a garlic fan? Well, do you hate when you have all this wasted garlic on the side of your knife? Do I have a trick for you or what? Grab a pipe, preferably from Jamaica, because those are the best pipes. Fill it with your garlic. Get it all in on the side, right, right in inside. Be nice and filled with garlic. Then you're gonna grab your lighter. You're gonna enjoy. I'm the other king, eat a pump and a kit, do it the run, bet the run. I'm Next we got our dead aquatic insects, which we're gonna drown with soy sauce and hot sauce to get that perfect sizzle. Now once we got those little bitches all cooked up, we're gonna chop them up into small pieces on our cooking board. Now next we're gonna prepare our pan for our garlic, coriander, and cabbage mix. Yes, I absolutely have a lisp, and if you mention it again, I will cry like a child. Now we're gonna add our shrimp to the mix, add our soy sauce, hot sauce, and sesame oil to add to that delicious flavor. Now add your mixture into the bowl because shrimp are shrimp and they do not deserve rice. And there you have your dumpling filling. First technique I'll be showing today is a traditional Chinese method of wrapping your wonton. You can place half a tablespoon of your dumpling filling in the dumpling wrap and do some fancy ass origami. Now you want to proceed by putting your left foot in, putting your left foot out, putting your left foot in, and... There you go. Oh wow! <laughs> Our next dumpling wrapping method is a Szechuan style of wrapping dumplings. Apply water to the edges of the dumpling wrapper. That'll act like the glue. Press the edges shut. Make a small little crease in the middle with a fork. Add a touch more water on each of the sides and fold over. Now we're going to beat an egg like the little bitch it is, and add a touch of it to each dumpling. Fry that shit up! We're going to try one of these, and let you know. Woo! Fuck you that didn't think I could make some goddamn dumpling. Here you goddamn dumpling. You want to try a dumpling? You can't, because I'm not making you no dumplings. You didn't think I could make those goddamn dumplings. Now I made these goddamn dumplings. Uh, first good goddamn dumplings. We'll take that. Bye. Till next time.